All right, today we're going to go through how to clean out a radial flow filter. Um, I have I've left mine a little bit longer than normal, uh, usually uh, with my amount of fish. I would do it maybe once every two weeks, once every three weeks. All depends on the feeding cycle and how much the fish are eating. But uh, just for this example, I let it go a little bit longer. Uh, I planned on doing a cleaning last week, but just never got around to it. So this is the basics of uh, what you want to do. Obviously, your radio flow filter uh, needs to be built correctly. And you can go through our videos and find out how to build and how to put together uh, our radio flow filters. One thing that you want to do, if you have a, a large drum like we have here, um, as opposed to using a 20 liter uh, barrel, we're using a 120 liter, 125 liter barrel. Uh, just gives me a bit more uh, availability because I am running a high flow pump through this. Uh, through my fish tank, I'm pushing through about 3,100 liters. So the 20 liter tank, the 20 liter barrel wouldn't uh, give me enough retention time to allow this, the solids to settle through. That's why we've gone for this larger tank. But uh, the cleaning of the tanks would work for a large tank, commercial sized tank, or even a uh, home 20 liter uh, swirl system. It's basically about the same. But uh, this is what we're going to do. Well, before we get started, I should let you know, um, you don't have to get rid of, you don't have to lose all this, all the water that's in your tank because obviously your solids are only at the bottom, you still have a good amount of clean water at the top. So you want to essentially evacuate the water, the good clean water, back into your, back into your sump tank. And what I've done here is I've got a relief overflow that, uh, let me just take the lid off, a relief overflow that goes about halfway down my tank. I'm not sure if you can see that there. It's uh, this piping right about there. Here's the outlet that goes into the uh, main system of the tank. And here is the outlet that's going to go to our sump tank to evacuate for cleaning. This And that pipe goes about halfway down the system there. Alright. Now that we got that off, and what I've done is I've just gone uh, down about half of the tank come into an elbow across, into a valve, across, and evacuating into the sump tank. Just so we can keep some of that water. We don't want to be wasting anything like that. But what you want to do is uh, take an old rag or a sock, and you want to just tie it around the, inter the exit of this, just in case you do pick up some fish solids that do get swirled around. Uh, you know, I just don't want them in, in the tank here. Um, uh, that's what you want to do. I'll be right back and uh, we'll have all this set up. Alright, now that I've got my uh, rag uh, secured around the outside of the pipe, just to catch any solids that might come from the radio flow filter, because it is uh, quite dirty, obviously uh, remove the lid. And then in your case, it all depends on how you have it piped. We have ours piped coming directly from directly from the uh, IDC exit valve and goes right up into the center center right there of the uh, radial flow filter I chose to do this as opposed to running a, a slow system solid lifting output which originally I had through here which came from the bottom of the tank brought all the solids up and then put them into the uh, radial flow system. So what you gotta do, shut off the main valve that lets the solids into your tank and uh, essentially just evacuate the water slowly. There we go. Now that rag will be catching that rag will be catching all my uh, all my extra solids that happen to be coming through that line. There shouldn't really be any, but uh, you can see there's no real suspended solids in the tank at all. But right now I do have a lot of uh, what do you call those little buggers? 
Like they're like freshwater snails. Got them all over the bloody place. So we'll have to give them a good clean. I'll be right back once the water's come down. All right, there we go. The water levels come down, and it's been put back in the sump tank. I've removed the rag already. So now it just gets down to the cleaning, and you can see. I mean, there's a an awful lot of the solids to be to be removed from down there. Um, uh, let's All get right. to it. Here we go. And this will be a bit messy, I'm sure. Mmm, lovely smell. You can see I've got the exit there. Let's take a few trips of this, I'm sure. Alright, so now we're down to the last bucket and I'll see if I can zoom in there. You'll be able to see exactly how much stuff we got going on. Looks to me about uh, an inch and a half. Not sure if you can see exactly the depth there but it's quite thick of muck. A bit nasty but uh, that's the way it is. Alright, so now what we gotta do is take our garden hose. I need to get in there and swish all that around and stuff like that. Gonna break up all the solids. Get all the crap off the sides. Just give it a best clean you really can. Get any foreign debris that's inside the tank. Get it all cleaned off the sides. Doesn't have to be perfect by any means, but uh, if you're cleaning it, you might as well clean it the best you can. Especially, I've got those freshwater snails, those little guys, and they get everywhere and want to breed, so I want to clean them up as best I can. Alright, looks to be about it for now. Turn the water off and couple more buckets. Now this will be, this bottom stuff will be the nasty bit. Let's see how nice and chocolate brown that is. All right, I'll finish up the remaining three or four buckets that I think I got left and then we'll get back to you. All right, now that we've got the uh, radio flow filter all put together, it's full of water. Everything's, uh, everything's working perfectly. Just go around to all your uh, your unit seals, uh, or you know your tank to uh, pipe seals. Make sure you don't have any leaks. Check you know everywhere, and uh, then you're good to go. Thanks a lot, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please do leave them in the uh, Dropbox down below. And if you enjoy our videos and want to stay tuned for more upcoming videos, please uh, subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you. Have a great day.